Hi guys! It's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Today's video is one of a kind because we're gonna be going to a friend's house where we're gonna buy some puppies. These are cute puppies that we're gonna sell at the pet store. I've been doing this for the past 20 years and I have encouraged so many people here in our community to take care of their pets and sell them to our pet shop. This business is actually an engaging business because you cannot do it on your own. You have to engage the people in the community, those ones that are animal lovers to also earn for the food of their pets and I'm helping them, they're also helping me and let's find out. These are very cute puppies that we're gonna buy today and we will show this to our vlog because I wanted to encourage also people who are dog lovers. So come on, let's go and let's proceed to a nearby village where we're gonna get all these very cute animals. Come on, let's go. So we're traversing here at the park. This is called Bolivar and some Bongenos are so proud about this place. This is the place where people will gather and look at the beauty of nature. Right at my right side, we can see the beach. I mean the vastness of the sea and people from all walks of life are enjoying this place. This is a freedom space where we can do our jogging, we can do our exercise and since it's Holy Thursday so you cannot see many people here. There are a few only and aside from the beauty that we can witness here can also observe the cleanliness that is being imposed by the authorities and no one is allowed to litter here and people here are so disciplined to observe cleanliness all the time. So guys we are nearing to the house of my friend and I'm so excited to have these puppies because these are very cute puppies that we can sell to the market and this business is actually about responsibility also of the owners to their pets because we cannot produce these pets without the ultimate care and protection that we can provide for them so this business is really coupled with our care attention and responsibility towards our pets so guys we are here now at the house of my friend and we're so lucky to have this four cute puppies all the while I thought that it was Lhasa Apsu but I was told that this is Maltese breed so these cute puppies now will be taken home I'm really very tempted to keep them because I'm a of course pet lover as well but since this is business so I'll just encourage my friend or dog lovers to breed their dogs and earn an income out of it this is not purely business but it's a kind of responsibility towards our pets but of course we have also to earn money because the food that they're eating is so costly that we have to generate an income in order to sustain their food and their vitamins well, the owner of this puppies is Jinky, a beautiful lady here. And we are so proud of her because of the kind of care, attention, and responsibility towards her pets. And actually, I was told that she was quite lonely to forego these pets. But since she has a work already, she's too busy to you know, take care of these four little puppies. So she decided to sell some of them. But you still have so many dogs yes. upstairs. Okay. Yes. 
Okay. Don't say that. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Just allow me to give an update about our cockatiels here. Actually, we have new babies, seven of them are actually now out. And from eight, which is four pairs, we now have 25 birds. And these are prolific birds that it's really very easy to, to care and manage. Because aside from their hardy, they're also consuming less compared to the parakeet. Well, the parakeets are voracious eaters. They can eat in as much as five kilos in a week. But these cockatiels are eating less than the parakeets. I am just so puzzled why these parakeets are eating a lot of seeds compared to the African lovebirds and to these cockatiels. But nevertheless, they are also producing a lot because one clutch of these parakeets will actually reach up to seven, five to seven, if your breeders are really in their perfect health and condition. And about the updates of our African lovebirds, well, I have to tell you that one of the birds were able to escape, but good that we were able to uh, catch this bird again and return this inside in the cage. And one of the things that I have to tell you is to make our cage or the wire mesh strong and sturdy because as you can see here, the, the wooden frame of this cage had been damaged already. They have this capacity really to munch the wood and be able to escape. And this is what happened. And some of you have already told me about this. Well, you are correct that these birds really are able to damage their cage, especially if the cage is made up of light materials. So what I would like to suggest, if you're going to go for this bird farming, especially this uh, African lovebirds, you have to use the steel matting and the good wire mesh so that you will not be having problem in the future. But these things are manageable. I will quickly fix this one and I know that we can do this before all these birds can escape. So the African lovebirds are also producing lots of babies and they are eating a lot of this moringa and also this water spinach and these vegetables are basic you can just you know gather this anywhere in our case you can just get this from the rice field anytime anywhere and for free so we don't need actually a lot of money to be able to raise these types of birds I hope that these updates would encourage you and I hope that you will continue to like and share our videos and if you are not subscribed to this channel may we humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos regularly only here at Dexter's World